Newt Gingrich's campaign has been on a roller coaster ride of late. First, a decisive victory in the South Carolina primary. Then, a resounding double-digit defeat in Florida. Though Gingrich plans to continue his campaign until the Republican convention in August, many experts see his presidential hopes as all but dead. So the question is, how do you keep something that's so close to death alive? That's the question Gingrich hopes his new campaign advisor can answer. I sat down with the man in his chamber at Gingrich headquarters. Thank you so much for sitting down with me, Mr. My name is not important. Well, your name's not important. So how do you plan to keep Mr. Gingrich's campaign alive after such a drastic defeat? The campaign has been severely damaged. Badly burned, both legs cut off. But thankfully, I have experience with such a case. What will your strategy be? I plan to implement a technique I learned from my mentor, Darth Plagueis the Wise. I will remove certain vital organs. You mean campaign manager Michael Krull and communications coordinator Joe DeSantis? Yes, that's what I mean. And what will you replace them with? With more dependable machinery. You know, members of the political machine. And how do you feel the campaign will run after that? Less human, but more powerful. He showed me around his chamber, which only Gingrich and he have access to. The advisor says he spends much of his time plotting in here, though he does make some time for recreation. Just, I'm learning. He also mentioned that though he was only hired recently, this assignment would not be his first contribution to the campaign. So the moon base was your idea. We see it as the beginning of an increased presence in space. We have a picture of it here. The Newt Star. The name might change. So how did you meet Mr. Gingrich? In South Carolina. I revealed myself to him. You were behind his win in the South Carolina primary. I told him, Newt, use your anger. Be angry at everyone. Mitt Romney, President Obama, even debate moderators just asking you questions. And that strategy seems to have worked. Fear leads to anger. Anger leads to hate. And hate leads to votes for Newt Gingrich. We talked more about the future of the campaign and what he hopes happens at the Republican convention in August. We even got around to talking about Mr. Gingrich's detractors. Let me read for you a quote I got recently from an Obama advisor about Newt Gingrich. Dangerous he is. Beholden to the rich and corporations is he. Hmm. And ruin this country he will. Not vote for him, you must. How would you respond to that? Let me just say that when it comes to politics, that particular advisor it's a little green. <laughs> Is that an inside joke? Uh, we spoke on the phone. How will the campaign proceed from this point? We will definitely increase the anger, and we will secure the party nomination. From there, we will have a new campaign slogan for the general election. We have a picture of it. Unlimited power. No like this. Unlimited power! And that's your slogan? Yes. That will hopefully take us straight to the White House. And then to the 45th President of the United States, Newt Gingrich. Then of course he will suspend all democracy and create the Galactic Empire. What? Thank you so much for your time. So how'd you feel that went? Good. Join us next week when we interview Congressman Ron Paul, who says, Misa still in this. <laughs>